lost over 10 pounds in one week by following the Wanyang diet and 10 pounds you ask how is that even possible? Well, it is and by the way, everything was very intuitive. Oh, and I also lost two inches off my waist. Here's how I did it. Hey guys, this is actually from one week after, aka the after results, but for this video, I'm gonna be trying one young diet, which is just swapping my breakfast for strawberries and milk. Because for other meals, she just eats whatever she wants, and I'm sure she just like portion controls. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. It's a bit scared and skeptical because. I don't really like strawberries that much, but it started growing on me. Pretty good results, like extremely good results. So if you want to see my journey, let's go. You guys can screenshot this to see what I did to eat like one young. By the way, you can drink any type of milk you want. She drinks dairy, soy, and almond. I had dairy and soy for this week, but it's totally up to you. This is what my before body looks like. There's some chub on my tummy and I'm very bloated. I'm holding on to a lot of water because I've been eating so unhealthy. And my waist started at 26 inches. My weight started at 118.3 pounds. I know some people may be thinking that eating just strawberries and milk for breakfast is too little. However, I completely disagree because most of the time, a lot of people don't even eat breakfast anyways, which actually has a lot of benefits. It's called intermittent fasting. You have to look into it, but basically intermittent fasting is actually really good for your health. So the belief that breakfast is the most important meal of the day isn't completely true because intermittent fasting, the benefits include lower risk for type 2 diabetes, improved heart health, improved brain health, and a reduced risk for cancer. But that's beside the point. What I'm saying is different amounts work for everyone and we shouldn't judge each other based on the amounts that we eat because different amounts suit different people. So I am lactose intolerant. The milk that I was having had no lactose in it but like I said you can have any type of milk you want like almond or soy. And for the strawberries I tried Driscoll's rose berries. They're the light pink strawberries and they tasted pretty good. There's no limit to how many strawberries you can have. I ate as much as I wanted. Are there any of you who just can't focus in the same place like you have to go to a different place to start focusing so i went to a cafe to have some coffee and actually get stuff done because i'm in a different location so i feel like i have to get stuff done you know what i'm talking about the reason for my productivity an iced americano i loved iced americanos wonder loves iced americanos too by the way and so does every other k-pop idol because i feel like the caffeine just really works in it and if they are watching their diet there's like no unnecessary calories with the coffee, I also had a protein bar, and this was pretty good. This week, I didn't do any sort of conscious exercise. I guess I just walked from place to place, but I didn't do it to like burn calories. I just had to get from point A to point B. The lunch, I literally teleported into a video game scene. Don't tell me that man sitting there in the middle doesn't look like a video game scene. Am I crazy? Okay, anyway, I was really excited about that, but for lunch, I had ebi tempura sushi. It was probably one of my favorite things that I've ever eaten this week. It was just like perfect, but I was pretty disappointed that there were only four pieces. I wanted more. Then for dinner time, I went to K-Town and had chicken katsu curry. It looked really good, but honestly, it was not my favorite. And I was feeling pretty off, so to cheer me up, I was like, what should I do? I bought some eye glitter. I forgot what brand this is, but if I remember, I'll put it in the description. So I was just trying it out, and I like it so far. On day two, I was actually struggling. It's really sad and it was good to know that I knew what to eat for breakfast because when you're really sad, you just don't know what to eat so you end up not eating. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I was really, really sad so I had no appetite but I wanted to cheer myself up and I was like, hmm, a great way to cheer yourself up is getting something from your childhood and something that made me really happy was the Dole Whip from Disneyland and by chance, I went to this cafe and they actually had Dole Whip. That's so crazy, I was so happy about that. Well, I was happy for some time. Any of you are struggling, please know that you're not alone and please get some help if you can. Getting ready even when you're sad is like telling yourself that you care about yourself and you still want to show up for yourself. So I wore this really cute pink set from Baby Metal Club. To go with the theme from Gregory's Coffee, I got a strawberries and cream latte, I think it was, but it did not taste good. I tried sipping it 
for a lot of times until I was like, no, this is not working. It really wasn't good. I should stick to my Americanos. I was actually walking around aimlessly just to clear my mind and I ended up in a Japanese mart. I think I got a hair stick, but I was looking for contacts. Morning's breakfast is actually growing on me. I quite like it. I'm starting to like everything about it. Um, a lot of people are saying that's not a breakfast. It's just strawberries and milk. Well, what if you want to have a light breakfast, right? A lot of people don't even eat breakfast, so it is good that she eats breakfast. I mean, but there's nothing wrong. <laughs> Sorry. There's nothing wrong with skipping breakfast. That's fine too, because sometimes we just want to eat at different times of the day and there's like no right or wrong really like intermittent fasting exists for a reason and you can't just be like oh you don't eat breakfast that's so bad but like it's good for your body because you're giving your digestion a break anyway that's not the point the point is strawberries and milk a pretty good breakfast it's actually not bad cheers and then i went to one of my favorite restaurants tim hawan and i got my favorite pork buns if you've never tried these these are so buttery and good and i had some hargao too and this rice in a lotus leaf if you've never tried this this is really interesting and one of my favorite foods ever i high key want to be one of those girls with like the perfect morning routine with like the perfect breakfast that's like really picture perfect and stuff and then they start going to pilates and they meditate or they like stretch and they have their like gratitude journal like the universe or their amazing lives I'm talking about the ones with those like really put together mornings I'm so envious because mornings are hard mornings set the tone for your day and sometimes when i start my mornings in a bad mood i'm in a bad mood for the rest of the day and i'm really trying not to do that so a goal this year better mornings I went to one of my favorite cafes and had coffee. I know I was ranting about not having perfect mornings, but the beauty of life is we can have goals. If we already had a perfect life right now, it would just be so boring. Look at this beautiful pistachio cookie. I love pistachio cherry cookies. It has cherry taste. It's really yummy and really buttery. I love everything with butter. I recently found out that fried rice tastes way better if you add butter in it. Chicken tastes way better if you add butter in it. Everything tastes way better if you add butter in it. Maybe I'm kind of late, but just... I want to put butter on everything. What is your happy place? Mine is Sephora. I checked Sephora to see if there's anything interesting. By the way, I love Gizu. Everything is so aesthetic. And I'm a big fan of their lip oil. I feel like it smells like a biscuit. Yeah, I was just looking at some products. Let me know what your favorite Sephora products are. I love Sephora. I would love to try your recommendations. First time trying a cannoli. I loved it. I was craving some gelato next. And I always see a long line outside in Anita. And this time the line wasn't too long, so I lined up and I tried this white chocolate thing gelato. It was pretty good. It was too sweet, actually. And that's how I ended the day. So this diet so far is I feel so much lighter. I'm like way less bloated. Probably because I've been going to the bathroom more regularly because of all the fiber. For lunch, I had yummy salmon crispy rice. For dinner, I had chicken katsudon. Because I've been eating breakfast, I'm just like not as hungry for other meals. So I just eat intuitively and portion control. And that was really hard for me before because I just wanted to binge and just eat like a really large amount to fill up my emptiness. But now it's more like I'm eating intuitively. I'm eating what I want, what I know is good for me. I'm eating a mix of what I want and what I know is good for me. And if it's both, I get both. I've just been feeling really good. Day six, I was actually at my sister's house. I missed her so much. We didn't see each other for like such a long time. I think it was like six months. I was just so happy to be able to see her again. Eating food with her just tastes better. Everything tastes better with her. Are you guys close with your siblings? I used to hate my sister. Like we used to brawl. I changed to soy milk, by the way. I would have like scratches all over my arms because we would just like fight and wrestle. And I would always get the bad end of the stick because I was older and I was supposed to be more responsible. So I just hated her a lot growing up. I got to high school, I believe. We got way closer and I'm just so happy that we were able to build such a close relationship. I don't know what I would do without her. Honestly, I don't know if I'd be alive without her. After the strawberries and soy milk, I had my sister's halo top. The cookies and cream flavor, honestly, it's not good. 
protein shake i'm trying to eat more protein these days because having a high protein intake guys will like change your body composition especially if you're exercising it's like the missing ingredient to most body changes next i had a small portion of chicken then i had an iced americano lastly some gelato this is the milk flavor and strawberry It's finally the last day of the diet. As usual, the same freaking breakfast. I'm honestly tired of it. But what we did do is order a pastry box and I had this beautiful croissant. But it tasted kind of weird because I think it was an egg yolk croissant. So it's like yolk with cream. I was just not into it. It looks 10 out of 10, but the inside is a 5 out of 10. Personality matters, guys. Next, I had a fruit tart, fruit danish. I'm not sure what you call this, but it was my favorite. Rating 11 out of 10. This cream hot dog looking thing, 7 out of 10. Corona, 7 out of 10 too. I ate this all at once, so I was done for the day. Yeah, I was really full. Yay, it's finally time for the after measurements. As you guys know, I told you I lost more than 10 pounds this week, and you can see the difference in my tummy. I lost so much water weight, and this is the stress, guys. It's mostly water weight. You can't lose 10 pounds of fat in one week, and that's because I went from such an unhealthy diet to a somewhat more healthy portion control diet, and that's why I lost that much water weight. But still, even if it is water weight, the results are very obvious. So I'm very sure I lost some fat too. Thank you so much for watching. This year, I want us to become the best versions of ourselves. So I'd really love it if you joined me.